Sebastian Alex Short. My role number is 527. My role is program. My name is Chetu Shekhar. My role number is 526. And my role is connections and equipment. My name is Sidesh. My role number is 525. And my role is connections. My name is Pinky. My role is Avi Havok. My name is Shreya, my role number is 599 and my role is RRR research and based information system. My name is Jisripa, my role number is 525, I work on the connections. The guidance that I request to miss into the system. So we worked under the guidance of a senior scientist, Suresh Ram, and the faculty assistant professor, Dr. P. Mahesh Babu sir, and Suresh sir, and Skay Sathis sir. So the basic components required for our project is Audio Urano, which is a microcontroller, and ESP32 CAM, which is a camera module for face recognition, and uh, jumper wires, which are used for connecting breadboard to the components, and USB cable, which is, which is used as a connector, and uh, RFID cards, so uh, 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 radio frequency identification cards, EM80 reader, which is used to read RFID tags. The solutions for our project are token system and billing machine. In the token system, we hand out the tokens to the students uh, so that they can eat in the mess. In the billing machine, uh, the student can pay and take the bill and have the food. But the drawbacks of these existing solutions are it, uh, anyone can manipulate those tokens and uh, it is very time consuming as because it is a manual process and it leads to a lot of wastage of paper. So uh, to resolve all these differences and uh, drawbacks, we implemented this solution. The proposed solution of our system is ID-based message system. In which the RFID is scanned for by every student. If it is a valid person, then proceed it to face recognition. If not valid, then the person is not entered to face recognition and is not, not taken to lunch. If face is valid, then the student is proceeded to take the lunch. So in this in this model, we have two different connections, and one connection is based on RFID, and another connection is an ESP CAM model. RFID model is handed to Arduino. The data pin is given to pin number 10, so that RFID can read the RFID cards. So ESP CAM reader is given to power supply, 12 volts power supply, in which LED given to LED and buzzer. If it is valid person, the green LED is on. And if it's not valid person, buzzer gives a sound so that it gives a warning he's not a valid person. And an RFID scan also gives the reading that if it is a valid person, it's, it, it shows in the city that person is valid and he can proceed for the face recognition. If it is not valid, he if it is not valid, then he is thrown out. And if already the RFID scan once again in the day. So it is. It shows that all is scanned, so that no second time alert, no student is alert second time. Let us conduct two test cases. One is valid person with valid RFID card, and another is valid person with invalid RFID card. Firstly, a person who comes with a valid RFID card and he scans. If he is a valid person, then it will show as valid person, and next further face authentication will be scanned. And if a person comes with invalid RFID card and it will be scans, then no output will be shown. And in a day, again a person already who entered a mess and comes with valid RFID card and if he scans, it will show as already scanned. But we have two scenarios. One is valid person and another one is invalid person. So I have my face enrolled in this ESP32 camera. To access and control the camera, we have the web server from the official sources. So I have entered the IP address of the ESP32 camera and I am in the web server. So let's start the stream. For a valid person, it will display the green LED. For the invalid person, if he starts the stream, it will show, it will give a beep sound. So in this way, we can identify non-hostlers. ID-based messenger system using RFID and face recognition is an effective idea, and better at the speed of manual process and manipulation of tokens is a limitation. The integrated solution of both ideas can also increase the efficiency of of verification since there are two levels of security during the process of verification. In the future, the systems can be enhanced by improving the RFID read range over 3 meters using UHF RFID readers, increasing in provisions and options for users in mobile applications, developing a web page that is compatible with all platforms like desktop, PC, mobile, etc., and making the system compatible with double web based detection using the roadable camera. 